So, Guildmaster, have we learned something? The deer really hurts. Ow! Hey everyone, it's Mel, and welcome back to more Etrian Odyssey. Last time I said we were going to do something silly, we are no longer going to do something silly. Instead, we are going to uh, make our way back to the second floor of the labyrinth. Maybe we'll run into a claw bug or two on the way. Because I did a double check on what I need for that hand axe quest, and I believe I need hard shells. Honestly, I think I might just take a brief moment, come down here. I have to remember if there are encounter zones in this game. There might be. It seems likely, because I seem to remember, again, just a lot more claw bugs down here in the bottom. That said, what's nice is we're powerful enough to basically just mash A, or hold A, really, through these encounters. Um, no, actually, I think I did this before episode 5. I basically ground up VV and the quadruplets to level 5. It got significantly easier once I bought them all bows. And they haven't really differentiated themselves from each other yet. They will eventually. But that time is not now. Clawbug? Clawbug! I unfortunately don't know how many hard shells I've sold. I've sold. I've got to be close to how many I need to do this, though. Though it helps if I, you know, if they actually drop. running into claw bugs like crazy down here. Yeah, now it's like, yeah, we don't want to show up. I'm like, really? These? I don't want to end up level six before I finish that quest. What I might do is I might off screen gathering the rest of my hard shells. Yeah, I'm just going to go to floor two and I'll probably grab the hard shells. is quests in the first game yeah they give you things to do like they give you objectives to accomplish while in the labyrinth but that's you do and you do get the rewards from them they're like you know they're cute little stories i believe it wasn't until the third game that they added experience to quests which i can tell you made them much more worthwhile to do And that sort of paved the way for the experience quests in some of the newer games. You know, pay money to grind faster. I will laugh if I was one hard shell short. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna quickly sell this off and see because it'll amuse me if I was. literally one hard shell off. That's hilarious. Oh, and, uh, yeah, I'm glad I did that. We're gonna talk with her. Oh, what's this now? Request about the Andax. Ah, you've already gathered materials for that one. I forgot I made that request. Don't fret. I'll still pay the reward. Go see Valerie and pick it up from her, okay? That said... Doublevoy, you are getting a new gift. Plus one vite is plus one vite. Fit. 
whatever. <laughs> I have to remember what Vitality does. As you can tell, it does not affect your HP. Alright, Valerie. What you got for me? I forget what the reward for this quest is already. A hand axe. Welcome back, kids. Shalaka came by, bubbling about the equipment she was about to make. Sounds Sounded like you've got another satisfied customer. Keep up the good work, okay? I like Valerie. I always forget that's her name, but I like her. So we're gonna take a quick stay at the inn. Pyroxene, I don't remember what floor we're first able to mine on. And one thing you can do, by the way, you have the quest section here. Quest menu, you can check on the quest you've accepted and completed so far. So yeah, I have the Monstrous Codex and a certain shop's request. Back to the forest! And now I don't have to grind here anymore. say one thing I honestly genuinely enjoy about this game. The environments are deceptively calming is what I would call it. Like again, this first just entering entering the Emerald Grove, it doesn't look like, it doesn't seem like it would be dangerous, but nope, we're getting mauled by uh, everything and anything as soon as we enter. I'm also almost up to level 6, and maybe I'll eventually be so close in XP that I'll barely even notice the difference in Dome of Void and everyone else anymore. Of course, once I start swapping out party members, um, the evenness will just go away anyway. Okay. So. What I'm going to do... We're gonna do this so I'm not in a fight. Uh, we're going to defend because Venom flies hurt. Drain. Uh, Nidoro can't do anything. That's okay. He is still being trained for a very specific purpose. I just need a couple more levels. Now, the way Front Guard works, actually, it basically allows Dumb Void to block will reduce the damage on one attack that hits the front line. Now, as I recall, actually, multi-target attacks actually still count as one attack and it'll block on everyone, but... Uh, you're gonna do that, and you're gonna just toss a heal on him, and you are going to shoot him. That him being the Venom Fly. Nice job, Liam. Oh, so close. Uh, yeah, I can get out of the way. And sometimes when you see me turn to face a wall like that, I'm looking for secret passages. Ah, I remember these things. Okay. Lock. So. I believe the first game was the only game that really did this. I'm not sure if the second one did. They sort of have depowered versions of FOEs kind of wandering around. On this floor, it's the Fenders. And they hurt. Yeah, 
that was with front guard up. Liam is not a happy camper right now. Thankfully. Because they're basically FOE lights, they're actually pretty easy to take care of. But they hit like a truck. Oh, for... I don't have um, the item that would let me revive him. And I don't want to gain too much experience without him. Which means it is time for us to very quickly get out of here. Oh, that was a short-lived trip. <laughs> and this my friend, is why I am pushing Melody towards learning Revive. You okay, Liam? No. Let's uh, sell off the horn we got. It might actually give us something. Also, I'm going to sell off the hand axe because I'm not going to be using it for any time soon. Ooh, an enamel bow and an ocarina. Now, okay, so. We're going to step one. Warp wire. So, the enamel bow is just basically a better bow. I'm going to give that to Hitoshi. The ocarina is interesting. It is a bard-only accessory that gives a bonus of TP. Now, that could actually be very, very beneficial. Except Hitoshi's like the least of my TP worries right now. Now, he will get the new bow, which is all, I mean, it's a two bow boost and that's nice. Now, one interesting thing about this game in particular is several future games in this series, I think starting with three, you have to turn in items to buy items. So like, for example, to buy Amrita's, you need to turn in gathering ingredients and you need to have enough gathering ingredients in stock to buy them, which means you're constantly going out and gathering more stuff. This game, as far as I know, works on a simple toggle system. Once you have it available, you have it available for good. I'm not sure which I feel is better. Now, let's see if we can get further on the second floor. Oh, right, leveling. Let's see if we can get further on the second floor without um, getting ourselves horribly, horribly, horribly murdered. And having Defender We might try something stupid after all. 
especially since we're going to be getting another level of poison. One more level of healer. And then I'm going to get... I need three point... I need basically four more levels to get revive. More bravery. <laughs> But since I just saved the game and I just got Defender, oh, I'm going to try something silly. I'm gonna hold off on trying the silly. I want to get a little more under my belt. And I at least want Liam up to level um six. Which to be fair will happen in like one more encounter. Oh yeah, it'll happen this encounter. No problem. Ow! Liam appreciates your donation of hit points. There we go. We're going to equip. Nope, custom. And keep raising attack up because I want to get beat. Nope, we're gonna hold off on the silly. Because these hurt enough. To the point where I am actually going to toss up a defender. I should ask Liam his opinion on venison. As you continue down the path, you spot an orange fruit growing on the wall of trees. An edible, the edible looking fruit makes your mouth water. 
It would be no trouble to take the fruit and eat it. Eat it? Yes. The fruit's del delicious looking exterior proved a sham, as Dumbledore discovered. And he lost 10 t TP, which means we are getting out of here? The deer really, really don't like Liam. Right, actually, let's buy a new warp wire before I forget. And like sell off what I have. And we are going to save. And we are going to internally scream. And we are going to try and make more progress on this floor. Oh. Yeah, you know, we're going to make progress on this floor next time. <sighs> Maybe we should get Liam some therapy for deer related trauma. Thanks a lot for watching and take care of yourselves, alright?